Right, another mini video today. Um, weather's nice, so we're doing a bit of work. I've even got Louis here. Louis's boss has tested positive for COVID-19, so he's off. So I've got him for 10 days, and uh, we're doing some work on the mini. Um, I was going to put the uh, the rear brake lines on, but they're that corroded. I, uh, I've decided to wait. They're good enough to get through the MOT. But what I wanted to do was a bit of work on the rear subframe because the rear subframe is a little bit crusty <laughs> with rust. So before I put the heat shielding back on and the belly pans back on, I decided just to give it a bit of a clean and put some of my favourites on it, which is crust, hammerite crust. So what are we doing, Lou? <laughs> Get in his eyes and everywhere. So. I know you can't see much, but uh, just pull this back. There's the subframe, rear subframe, so it's all rusty. Um, it's going for an MOT. I'll pull this off so it's better for you to see. It's going for an MOT on um, the 14th, I think, of December, if my, um, if my brakes come. Uh, it's ready now, so it's all started. The exhaust is fitted properly now, so there's a few bits and pieces to do. Put the belly pans on, put the heat shielding back in, do this. Clean my new control arms up from all of the uh, the anti seize because you know what anti seize is like if you've worked on a car and used it. So yeah, we're uh, we're starting to put it back together, ready for mot. So there's Louis. Not enjoying yourself, are you, dude? I'm not going in my face. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so this is the job for today. Um, as I say, I've got Louis for a bit um, until he gets back to work. So I'm making the most of uh, having some help. Okay, see you later, guys. Okay, so that's that done. Clean the control arms up now and get everything put back on. As you can see, it's just a bit of crust thrown on there just to stop it from corroding any worse over the winter. Even though I'm not going to be driving it much in the winter, I'll probably still take it out and make sure everything just doesn't seize up. So, yep, yeah, looks like I've got a big job on next year. Um, this will challenge me, but never mind, I like a challenge. I'll have to do it differently, take loads of photos and videos of taking this out because uh, it is quite complicated, I think. Right, that's me done. See you later. Okay, mini video. Well, um that's it all back together um belly pan belly pans on heat shields on exhaust on properly now um i didn't do the brake lines the flexibles the reason being is the connection to the hard line was so tight and i didn't want to fuck that up and end up having to drop all of the uh all of the uh, brake line out again so I'm going to do that when I install the new subframe in the back when I've cleaned it all up so all I'm waiting for now is my brakes and then it's ready for MOT so um, yeah I'm going to be bored now <laughs> I'll find something to do though I'm sure I will right so that's it um, it runs, the exhaust leak's done, everything's ready to go, so um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens at the MOT. Okay, see you later guys.